Hello guys and welcome back. You know, it's been almost a year since I did my original Sokobas review and I did that review because I kept on seeing their ads and I was really interested to see if the boot held up to the hype and I was, I was a big fan of them in that video. If you remember that video, I'll link to it right here, here, wherever it is. Uh, you can check it out. But it's also one of the videos that I get the most questions about. People ask, how have they been holding up? Are they still as comfortable? Are they still in good shape? And uh, yes, they are. To be fair though, I mean, I have a big rotation of boots, so it's not like I wear these every day of the year, but when applicable, I'll totally wear them. They're awesome. They're still very comfortable. They haven't fallen flat like other boots have. And I'm very impressed at how durable and abrasion resistant ostrich leather is. I didn't know that. Apparently the people who make cowboy boots do because they've been using it for a long time, but the answer is my Tacobas have been excellent. So when they came up with a new model, I was really interested to try it out. Because if you remember in that first video, I had a problem where I got stuck in my boots. Now I have a high arch, which means that my foot kind of has like an exaggerated shape to it. You know, the arch is higher, which means that the instep is higher, which means that when I go to slide my foot down a shaft of a boot, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult because of that exaggerated shape. Luckily, the new Tacova zip boots actually solved this problem. They added a zipper down the side, a slightly shorter shaft, which is also narrower. This not only makes it easier for guys with a high instep to get into the boots because going through a boot without a lace on it can be very difficult, but it also allows them to be tucked underneath modern slim or you know just trimmer cut jeans which have a smaller leg opening if you've ever worn cowboy boots underneath a slimmer fit jean you'll know that the shaft can sometimes push out that material and it can look a little bit funny it looks a lot funny to be honest with you when i first started seeing ads for these boots i specifically looked at the comments because i wanted to see what the reception would be and it was mixed some people really liked them, but some people didn't, and a lot of people mentioned that they looked like women's boots. And I can see where they say that. A lot of women's boots are narrower because they have to facilitate an even smaller leg opening, and they're usually a little bit lower. But here, take a look, just for a point of comparison, here are a pair of my wife's boots, these little teeny tiny things right here, okay? Here is the Roy boot, all right? They really, I don't see the, uh, the, the similarity. I know these aren't cowboy boots, but she doesn't own any cowboy boots, but... With the exception of the zipper, I really don't see a lot of, uh, of similarities there. And after all, I mean, a cool boot is a cool looking boot. That's why men and women both wear cowboy boots. I don't care if my boots look like women's boots, as long as they look cool. It doesn't really bother me. Plus, when you're actually wearing them and you have your pant leg down over them, they end up looking just like a pair of Chelsea boots, like a cool pair of Chelsea boots. So here is a Chelsea boot, which I have worn many, many times. I love this thing. And when you put this toe up and all you can see is the toe, you can see how very similar it looks to the uh, the new Tacoba's model or really any cowboy boot for that matter. So for that purpose, I think they look fantastic. Nobody is actually looking at the top of these things because most of the time your pant leg is down around it. Why wouldn't it be? What are you doing? Tucking your pants into your low cut zipped boots? If that's the case, then we have to have a talk. I'm also happy to see all of the construction quality that I saw in the originals in these new boots. So that means three quarter Goodyear welt, lemon wood pegs, nice leather stacked heel with a slight taper to it. They're good looking boots, especially in that suede. I love that suede if you can't tell. Now there are only two models available, either the brown in regular calfskin or the suede model here, and they have two different names. And I think that what Tacobas is doing is they're doing a little bit of testing with these to see the reception and see how well they sell if there is a market for it because they're, they're, they say limited quantity right now on the website. So if you wanna get a pair, you can, but who knows if they're gonna be around. I think if they sell well and people really like them, then they may make them in some of their exotic leather, which would be really cool. I mean, getting in and out of these things with a zipper, it's really a breeze. They've been excellent. They're wonderful to wear. And basically everything else, as far as the, the comfort that I raved and ranted about on the original models is still there. You just don't have that extra shaft, which really, let's face it, for most of us who are wearing boots, just for the look of it, not for necessarily the, uh, the usefulness of a cowboy boot, that's just fine. The smooth leather version is called the Dean. The suede version is called the Roy and they both come in at $235. I think you're getting a lot of boot for the money. These are made down in Leon, Mexico. And what I found out about Leon is that there are 
big, big giant areas, I'm talking blocks, where all they do is make shoes and boots. And as a matter of fact, I can name several other brands that are making their footwear down in Leon, Mexico. But clearly, Tacoba's has a very good quality control department because everything that I've seen come out of there looks really, really nice. And what's really cool about Tacoba's is if you turn it over and look at the bottom of the boot, it's just as beautiful as the top. It's almost a shame to walk on it. They look really great. They're comfortable. They're durable. And after wearing my other ones for about a year, I can accurately and very confidently tell you that they're a decent investment. If you're into this style of boot, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend them. So guys, of course I wanna know what you think. What do you think about the Dean boot or the Roy? Do you think that it looks like a woman's boot? Is it something you would wear? Would you rather just go 100% to the cowboy territory? Or is this a neat like hybrid, something that you're interested in? Please let me know. I really appreciate hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please do me the favor of subscribing or you can watch one of these video these videos. Where are they? Are they over there? I don't know. I can't see. I'm behind a camera. This makes no sense to me.